Nigel, was that a deserved point? Oh, without a doubt, uh, at least a point today uh, for, the, for the performance uh, and also the character and desire we showed, uh, having gone 1-0 down and, and lost three players in the first 34 minutes of the game. Uh, somewhat disrupts your game plan and so on, uh, but that's, the, that's what the squad's there for and credit to every single one of them who was involved today. Ironically, despite those three having to go off, Stags were better in the second half than the first. Yeah, I think that was uh, when you're one nil down, and you know you can go for it a little bit more. Uh, and I say nothing to lose because the last thing you want to do is concede and go two nil. Um, so we went forward. We put. Uh, I think the nature of the makeup of the bench with having three forwards uh, meant that really you end up with the two up top and Danny and Swanee come on. The wing backs are both forwards. Uh, Davis Keller Duns are forward, so half your outfield's a forward thinking team, so uh, that's going to that's gonna be your strength. So we might as well try and go forward if we can and, and play attacking football, which we did today. Let's speak about the game in a bit more depth. What did you make to their goal, the game's first inside 10 minutes? Apart from injury, uh, the injuries today, that was the only disappointing factor uh, of the game. Uh, almost a free header. Uh, we talked about it before the game. Uh, I think Cookie only plays against us, uh, it seems to be. Uh, he hasn't played the last few weeks and he gets a header. Um, unfortunately, it didn't cost us the game this time. Uh, but, you know, we, we highlighted the threat and said, you know, between the three centre-halves, you've got to sort their two centre-halves and him out. And we failed to do it. Uh, but having said that, we, we hung on in there um, and thoroughly deserved over the rest of the game the point. In that first half, in the space of 35 minutes, three of your players had to go off. Uh, Reed Oates and Callum Johnson. What's the latest? Uh, Reed knee, uh, loose Reed knee with the block tackle he made uh, just in front of the dugouts. Uh, Oatsy obviously shoulder, not his pectoral muscle again, but his shoulder. Uh, and Callum Johnson is the most straightforward with a, a, a slight groin strain, we think. Uh, he won't be too long, not sure about the other two. Uh, we're just talking in there and in 24, 25 years or whatever we've been doing this, I don't think we've ever lost five players in the first half in the course of a season. And to lose five in two games, as we had done two last week and then three this week, uh, never known anything like it. You had a big decision to make at the break, didn't you? Yeah, I, and I don't know if everybody understands, you only get three opportunities to make substitutes and half-time doesn't count. So uh, if we hadn't made any substitutions at half-time, that was it. We couldn't have made one, bar a concussion sub. Uh, so we had to sort of almost anticipate and gamble a little bit. Kieran had been booked, not sure if he was going to last the 90. Uh, Quinny again, not sure if he was going to last the 90. So we thought being 1-0 down, let's get uh, Swanee and Danny up top, move uh, Lucas back, put Davis Keller back in the midfield. And to be fair, we sat down just literally, you've only got five, ten minutes to get it sorted. Uh, and they all went, come on, let's go. Uh, and the determination going out the door for the second half uh, was brilliant. When precisely did you make that double double change in your own mind? Well, once we made uh, the third substitution, once Callum comes off, and I said to Andy, I said, you realise we can't bring another sub unless we do it at half-time? Uh, and in a game like that, as full-blooded as it was, it was unlikely uh, that somebody wouldn't have needed to come off. So you're thinking that Kieran being booked, you know, don't want him getting sent off, you know, Quinny uh, has had a, played 90 last week. So it was just really, and let's get the forwards on, being 1-0 down, let's go for it. And in that second period, you really went for the throat. Yeah, I think we did. I think they had one, a couple of corners and free kicks and one uh, shot where, where Scott Flinders made an outstanding save down to his right. He almost sort of back on himself. Uh, but apart from that, it was us. We've hit the bar. We've had cleared off the line. We should do better. Lucas has flicked a long throw in brilliantly and somebody should be in there. Uh, but our general play, everything, uh, I thought was very, very good today. Much better than last week we played today. That's, that's the thing, the performance. You win 4-1 last week. And I think we talked afterwards and said, I didn't think we were brilliant last week. I thought we were today. What about the equalising goal in time added on? That's it. You know, you've got your centre-half up there. He's got two in two, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Look, delighted for him. I think he, he was better again this week than last week. He looks stronger physically. Um, we keep saying he's only played seven games in the first half of the season. Hope he'll just get better. He looks a leader. He's not a sort of chess beater, which we're not keen on them. Uh, he just gets on with his job uh, and leads by example. And I thought he was very, very good and deserved the goal. I think there were six minutes left after then. Did you still feel you had time to win it? We tried, yeah. Your, your main thing is don't lose because we gave a couple of soft free kicks away and then you know the ball's coming into the box. Uh, but we were still trying. I thought Davis Keller Dunn should have fired a couple across the face of the goal and didn't quite. Uh, but we're still going forward. We didn't change the formation, put anybody back or anything like that. Uh, and if we can nick it, we can nick it. We said that half time. When we get the equaliser, try and get the second one if you can. But don't risk losing it because it would have been a travesty today if we'd have lost the game. 
quite just away from today no Stephen McLaughlin Haram Boateng or Christy Pym uh, how are they getting on? Christy's uh, did a little bit of training this week just a bit too tentative a bit too early with his finger uh, hoping next Saturday uh, although the way Scott Flinders is playing if he's right he's right if he's not we won't risk him um, Stephen McLaughlin mm, three to four weeks maybe something like that uh, and Haram should be okay he was touch and go for today didn't want to risk him with it being a hamstring related injury uh, couldn't risk him being out for three to four weeks so uh, he should be alright for next Saturday Just a final word on the January transfer window that uh, window now closed of course how would you sum it up the business that Mansfield have conducted? I think good sensible uh, business not just for this season but for next season to get the four players in average age what 25 uh, you know, for the second half of the season and looking ahead, I think they're going to be four very good and important players for the club. Uh, so I, I think it's been thoughtful, sensible business. You know, I think a couple of teams have been, uh, a few teams in all football, they always do panic a little bit at this stage. Uh, I don't think you make good signings under those circumstances. Uh, I think our four are good, solid signings. Just capping off here at the University of Bradford Stadium. Um, Final word for the supporters, perhaps, because it, it almost feels like a victory, the way in which Mansfield salvaged a, a, a late goal here. Well, they, they, you know, they watch the end. They're not, uh, they're not daft. They see us lose three, three uh, players in the first half. We use all our subs by half-time. Uh, and I think they were encouraged by the way we went for it and, and got the equaliser. Uh, we just need a break in a game somewhere. Uh, you know, we've gotten cleared off the line, hit the bar today, and we deserve the goal. Uh, but in general, I don't think we're really getting a decision going our favour uh, over the course of the game today. Uh, and we thoroughly deserved it. And I, I th think they understand uh, in the circumstances uh, how good it was and how well we played. Thank you. Thank you.